Hello, my name is Dr. Bagley. Uh, thank you very much for joining me in this uh, video here for the Power of Woman seminar. Uh, one of the questions that I really want to address right offhand is, how is a man going to teach, uh, or what is he going to teach a woman uh, about a woman? And one of the things that I want everyone to understand is, I've been counseling for over 17 years. Uh, and in counseling for over 17 years, I've helped uh, relationships, um, get into relationships, divorces, getting out of relationships, uh, single, and so on. One, I, one of the things that I've really come to understand is how women are really missing the mark when it comes to who they are, their position in, in society. For example, uh, you have two classes, male and female. Uh, the women by themselves are very influential. Uh, men are still in control. They have the power in context or the powerfulness. Women are power, men are powerful. So in context, how is it in the seminar, what I want to teach is how a woman can be from who you are to becoming powerful. Uh, and, and that's something that I believe as a man, as a psychiatrist, as a theologist um, and divinity and so on, uh, something that I can uh, express to you a, a little bit better than a woman in her position could. Not to say I'm better or not. Uh, there, there's some great women out there. This is just uh, my 17 years of experience coming to the table and hopefully bringing something uh, new that you guys uh, are missing to help you get to that next level. So one of the things that I need you guys to understand in, in everything and anything you do, you have to have goals and you have to have purpose. One of the homeworks that I want to give you is the idea of what are your goals in life? And then what is the purpose behind those goals is so that's something that I can't give you that no one can give you from motivation to counseling. Uh, you have to come up with that idea and it's a personal issue. So between now and the seminar, I highly suggest you come up with an idea of what's my goal in life and then what is my purpose that incorporates that goal or those goals. Uh, once you do that, just write it down and bring it with you. Instead of using case studies right off the bat, what I want to do is use something uh, uh, that we can talk about that we all can understand and relate to. And the best uh, storyline that I can come up with is Proverbs 31, which is in uh, Virtuous Woman's story, which is below here, that if you don't know what that story is, please read it and then have a, a clearer understanding when we come together. And if you do know it, uh, may I suggest you reread it again. In this, uh, we're going to use the Proverbs 31 woman as the outliner, and then we'll get into case studies, and then we'll get into your own personal, if you decide to open up, uh, your own personal stories and experiences. Uh, first subject that we're going to get into is financial from a man's position, from a woman's position, and collectively, how that looks coming together. Spiritual is not theology or divinity, but spiritual of self. Um, when you grow into something that you're going to become from power who you are to becoming powerful, there are certain uh, aspects of you in the spiritual side of you that has to grow. And uh, hopefully I can give you some uh, insight of what that looks like. Uh, emotional. Uh, the reason I want to touch on the emotion is because it is very hard emotionally for a man to go and do what he does in the powerful self uh, of self. Uh, but when it comes to a woman, it's an extreme emotion because we all know that women are very emotional creatures. And so therefore, I want to express in a relationship uh, side of it as well as as a single side of it, of the emotional, the differences, uh, men, women, and so on. And then the last part is physical. Uh, men and women 
uh, has a physical side of it and how does that work from where you're at now in being power to what you're going to become powerful and how that looks moving forward. So those are the four subjects, um, and everyone should already know that in divorces, uh, the two top ones is financial, and the other one is, of course, emotional, uh, of self, uh, sexual, and that kind of deal. So we're going to get in a lot of different topics, but keep in mind the objective. The objective is for you to understand who you are now, which is the power of a woman, in becoming powerful and we're going to use these four subjects to address the idea of where you're at now to how and where you want to go utilizing your own goals and your own purpose that incorporates those goals and then how that works together so we have a lot to cover in such a short period of time uh, keep in mind this seminar is the introduction of something that's bigger and better um, more personalized i should say so if you're very interested or interested or want more information, uh, just click on the buttons wherever it is around me and uh, go to the next page and let's see what happens. I hope to see you there. Uh, we're going to have a great time. Uh, I already had a lot, a lot of people say they had a great time in my other ones. So uh, I hope you uh, have the, I will have the honors up to you to come to this one too. So until next time, again, Dr. Bagley for the Power of Women Seminar. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.